Welcome to BalsaCircle.com where we do decorations for weddings and special events, your one-stop shop for all of your event needs. Today we're going to be showing you how to put together and absolutely, you know, roll up your sleeves to do this DIY winter wonderland unique arch that you basically will be seeing a lot more of in the coming months. Here we're going to be showing you all the things that you're going to be needing. Everything's in the description below to recreate this look, so not to worry. So starting off with this one sided photo booth stand pole. We're going to be covering it with that chiffon bolt. This is a 54 inch 10 yard white chiffon fabric bolt and then fastening it on the top with just some wire so it stays into place. Don't worry we're going to be creating a beautiful look later when it comes to this pole. It's not going to just be like a white stick but we're just this is just the very beginning. Moving on to these come in six pieces these white faux pearl sprays. Love these. These are 23 inches and when you put them together basically what I'm showing you here is you're stacking them. So at the very kind of tip top of one branch, you're going to be taking a zip tie and attaching it to the one to the bottom. And the reason why we're using zip ties Oh my gosh, such a lifesaver. Don't even use wire for this. It's all about the zip ties. This will make it go so much faster and have a much higher secureness to it, if that makes sense. So uh, the reason why I say that is, as you can see here, we're attaching one by one and stacking five to seven of these at the very edge of this long, long branch. This long branch, I would say, would be approximately six to eight feet. So as you get to the farther end of the branch and that you're gonna be attaching it to the pole, it's going to weigh it down and the arch is gonna look like poor little droopiness and we don't want that. So that's why we're stacking five to seven of these on one side and you're gonna need a lot of zip tie action. So I would definitely, you know, stick with getting two packs for sure. So once that is nice and sturdy, obviously, you know, if you want a really super high arch with not a lot of droop, then you add more but obviously you're just gonna have to see that for yourself and what works for you. Now we're securing it to the very top of that pole there. You might need another assistant with this. However, you're gonna take that zip tie, secure it to the pole, and then move down that pole and secure it in a couple of different places. Make sure that those white faux pearl sprays are not in the way of the zip tie. Just try to get it around the branch as much as possible because that'll give you a little bit more leeway later to mold those little branches as you can see here. Here. Um, if they're all secured to the pole, it's really hard to create some artistry there. So now, once that's done, it's secured to the pole. Now you're going to be using, we used our 12 inch 10 yard white chiffon fabric bolt. It doesn't have to be as wide as the other one because now we're just adding that beautiful flow and a snowy look. And we did it all the way to the bottom and you'll see that shortly how we just, we went to town all the way to the bottom. Now we're securing these clear clear faux crystal acrylic drop ornaments. These come uh, in a beautiful pack. We just use these little crystals and secured some um, fishing line. That way you didn't see the thread and it just looks like it's snowing, which I absolutely love. Oh my gosh, this just makes me want to get married again. But let me just tell you, on the side there, as you can see, we had the white chiffon fabric just billow to the floor and make it look so beautiful with a beautiful wedding dress on and your man in a tux and beautiful lighting where it basically ricochets off of those little crystals and the pearls. It's going to look absolutely stunning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this unique wedding arch here if for winter wonderland lovers and winter weddings. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, hit that like button. Also, put your ideas below or any questions that you might have. We'd love to answer them. Until next time, stay creative.